height of the space race, the Soviet government decides to develop their own version of the space shuttle, called the Buran. The only high-tech factories able to manufacture the Buran are in Moscow. But the launch site is the Baikonur Space Center in a remote desert area of Kazakhstan. So engineers must find a way of transporting the space shuttle 2,000 kilometers. It's not really possible to move that type of aircraft by land, and the reason is that it is absolutely enormous. You couldn't get it under bridges, you couldn't get it down the, uh, the smaller roads. You also have to do it very slowly, and it would take an enormously long time. There's only one option, transport the shuttle by air. But even with the biggest cargo plane in the world, it's not going to be easy. The space shuttle won't fit inside the Antonov-124. Engineers could enlarge the aircraft's fuselage, but it would have to be 20 meters wide and 17 meters high. With such a big fuselage, the plane would be too heavy to take off. They could tow the shuttle like a glider, but it's not designed to be towed. So instead, they decide to carry the Buran on top of the Antonov. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 